Russian invasion into Ukraine has entered its second month today. Ukrainians led by its president, Volodymyr Zelensky, have pulled off a strong resistance so far. There are fresh concerns regarding the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The United Nations atomic watchdog has expressed concern as Chernobyl workers are not able to get to work due to relentless Russian shelling. On the other side, according to the United Nations, civilian deaths in Ukraine have now crossed the 1,000 mark. Now, Russian forces remain stalled outside the capital of Ukraine, Kiev, but bombing and shelling continues. Police vehicles, civilian infrastructure are all being targeted as invasion enters its second month. My colleague Pradeep Datta is getting us this report on how a police vehicle in Kiev was hit by Russian shelling. During the last one month, we have seen that how Russians have intensified attack. They have been trying their level best to occupy Kiev city. So far, they haven't succeeded to break that resilience and strong wall of resistance built by Ukrainians and Ukrainian forces. And right now, I'll be showing that every day they are trying to target civilian infrastructure. They are trying to target whatever comes their way. They're not even sparing the police vehicle who are trying to ensure law and order during this tough situation. It's more than one month and they're still at the doors of Kiev. It's because the Ukrainian forces are not allowing them to win. Let me show you something. Here is a vehicle and you can see how the bullet marks here on this vehicle. This vehicle was here but the police officer was also standing. All of a sudden there was a firing from the Russian side and many such vehicles have been damaged and destroyed. I've got a police officer with me. I'll be talking to her and find you. How is the situation right now here on the ground? Well, actually, this car really was in the occupied one of the cities in Kiev region, and it was under the fire of uh, Russian uh, wars. And we can see that the person that was near this car is uh, harmed nowadays. Uh, leg and an arm was uh, just wounded, and he is in hospital right now. We can also say that it's quite dangerous to be in uh, several uh, region of uh, Kiev region. Also, uh, it's a uh, Buchansky rayon and also some uh, villages of Bravory and many villages are now occupied by Russian armies but actually police is still uh, in Makariv now and in Irpi also so we are project people and try to make them uh, evacuated uh, in Can you time. tell us how many kilometers right now they are out of uh, Kyiv? Because we had been saying it for the last several days that they are few miles away from Kyiv. How many miles, kilometers they are away? Oh, actually uh, four miles. It's been better to this our army. We can't say some some such details in that time. But we can say also that Irpin and Makari was under fire for several days and now the situation is better in these cities.